Saponification is a reaction by which we create soaps from fats. The most simple type of fat that we're going to use for this process is a triglyceride. And to this triglyceride, we're going to add a strong base. And this is going to result in what? Two products. The first is metallic salts or um, carboxylates and glycerol. So this is the basis. Triglyceride, strong base, equals metallic salts. How many? Three, because we have three from the triglyceride, and glycerol, which is the basic molecule of the original triglyceride. What are some examples of strong bases that we use to create soap? We have sodium hydroxide, and we have potassium hydroxide. So let's look at a very specific example. First, let's draw a triglyceride. If you remember, triglycerides come from three fatty acids joining together with a glycerol molecule. Remember, the glycerol molecule is a three carbon chain with hydroxy groups attached to each of the carbons. So it's basically a polyalcohol, and this is called glycerol. So we start with a fatty acid, not a fatty acid, with a triglyceride. These are the same three carbons. O, 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 C, which is my ester group. And then we have our fatty acids that are attached right here. Okay? So we have a triglyceride. Triglyceride. I don't know what I'm writing. I'm sorry, you guys. And then we're going to choose a base. We're going to choose sodium hydroxide. How many molecules of this sodium hydroxide? Three. Because we're going to do what? We're going to break this triglyceride with this strong base. And then what's our next result? As I said in the previous page, three metallic salts and glycerol. So the first thing we could write off the bat is we can draw what? The triglycerol itself reconstituted, which you can draw it like this. Or you can draw it like this. It's the same thing. Both of these are the same. Plus three metallic salt carboxylates. Remember, carboxylic acid, if we take away one of the parts, uh, the OH, it's going to have a carboxylate part. What am I talking about? For example, you have acetic acid, and once we take this away, the H right here, and this remains the same and we add something else, remember, methyl ethanoate, so it's a carboxylate. If you don't remember this, uh, go back and look at the videos on naming carboxylic acids and esters, ethanoate. So this is why it's carboxylate salts. Why salts? Because if you remember organic, inorganic chemistry, NaCl, table salt, is a salt. It's a negative part, a negative part of the molecule, an anion with a metal, which is positive, a cation. So salts are metals plus non-metallic parts. So in this case, what is my non-metallic part? And let's use some more color to illustrate this. If I take this chain and this O, this came from where? Where did this come from? This came from this part. The OH comes from, and I'm going to use another color, from the base. So three times OH, these are our three OHs right here, and it's color coded. So what's left over? Clearly, the only things I have not put together are the sodium, which we have three of them, and the fatty acid chains, which are the carboxylates. So I'm going to take this marker, I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to draw one, two, three, which is the positive part. And what's left over? My fatty acids, the chains of the fatty acids. And I'm just going to attach them right here, OOC, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I forgot my C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this is the negative part. Now, it's very clear right here. The triglyceride turned into the glycerol. The fatty acid chains joined the sodium that's left over to form our soap molecules. And how does this work? Remember, hydrophobic, hydrophilic. So, carbon chains are hydrophobic. They don't like water. 
high metals are hydrophilic they like to they have uh, magnetic properties electromagnetic properties so whenever we have a piece of dirt what happens here is we have our soap molecule and these soap molecules are attracted to the dirt the metallic part encases the dirt and then the tails which are hydrophobic because they are very heavy in carbon and they're nonpolar what happens when we take water they get rinsed away so the dirt gets trapped with the positive part of the soap and the water makes the hydrophobic part float and take it away and that's how we have a cleaning process based on soap so just to recap saponification we begin with a triglyceride which is glycerol with the three fatty acids a strong base such as sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide three molecules of that to form three metallic salts one two three and glycerol which we have here and as a recap the backbone comes from the triglyceride the OHs come from the base three metals with the leftover and it's all color coded